Oh, Frank Frazier, he's, he's the godfather. I, I noticed that he talks with the young artists and he develops the young artists and he just gives cultural understanding and nutrition to them. And he empowers them. So there'll be a number of Frank Frazier's now and there'll be a number of powerful young artists that can take some of the great insight that he's given them. I'm artist Frank Frazier, black artist first. Right now, I'm working with shoe polish. I found an old bottle of shoe polish somewhere uh, in some little antique store, and I took it home. I didn't know what I was going to do with it. And there I am. Actually, what happened was I was born on 153rd in St. Nicholas Place, and I moved to uh, 116th Street in Manhattan Avenue. And, and then we left there and went to uh, Queens, and we hit the numbers. My dad, he hit the number. I never found out how much he hit it for. All I know is he hit the number. He hit it good, and he got a Chevrolet in the house. Black and white Chevrolet. Automatic. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. When I was growing up at home, there was a lot of things I didn't know about being a black man. Like what direction we can see. We were what we call up north. A lot of things that were happening in the south, we really didn't understand or know until I joined the military. When I joined the military, I went to Fort Bragg, North Carolina, and everything changed. That's a fact. Oh, yes, it is. Black and white pieces are actually shoe bars. And that's what this piece is going to be. Like shoe bars, the black, the 20s and 30s, the white boy used to paint themselves with shoe bars and make fun of them. Y'all heard of black race? Yeah. I don't do a lot of white shows. I like doing shows that's related to my people. I'm black first. So I want my legacy to be in my people's home. Y'all had a black mayor for a minute. Yes, that's my aunt. She owns all my work. My black sisters and my black brothers. They inspire me to be who I am. It is me. Not about reflect, it is me. Look at me. It's the same shit I talk about, the same thing I do. And, and this part of my life right now, I'm 71 years old, I can do what I want to do. And that makes a big difference. The piece in the back of me, the rapping in the ghetto, that song goes way back to the beginning. And that has a lot of symbolic stuff going in it. The squares are actually city blocks. And if you look at it hard, the people are struggling to get to the top. And very few people make it to the top. And the question always is, is it necessary to be at the top? We have to teach our children too. There's nothing wrong with being a bus driver, cab driver, or a janitor, there's nothing wrong as long as it's honest. I'm doing the Tom Joyner crew, number one. The money we make on the Tom Joyner crew help our black children go to our black colleges. I've known Tom Joyner's son, Thomas Jr., since he was a little bitty boy. And he asked me one day, would I help bring the art on the cruise? I bring my art, I will be bringing Jonathan Romain, a young sister named Deborah Cedric, and I'll be bringing my friend Bob Carter's work, and we were just simply trying to raise money for the foundation. And I, I'm with the Tom Joyner Foundation because I love it. I really do. Thomas, this young lady got a passport. I think she'd make a good photographer. 
pretty. She has a personality, looks, charisma, did I say that right? She got all that going. She'd be good for us on the crew, running around with a little camera. We gotta get a better camera. Yeah, brother. <laughs> oh, 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 or else. We're done.